Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the October 2015 Grade 11-12 Contest Question 16. So the question is, Cameron builds a cone from a circular piece of cardboard with radius 10 centimeters by cutting out a sector from it. Determine the volume of the cone we obtain in centimeters cubed as a function of the angle of theta in radians at the center of the sector. Hint, the volume of a cone is V equals to a third of pi times the radius squared times a, or R squared times H, where R is the radius and H is the height of the cone. Okay, so here, this is what the circular piece of cardboard would look like. And it says with radius 10 centimeters, which is shown here, and it says by cutting out a sector from it, well here is this, this is a sector cut out from the circular piece of cardboard. And now we want to determine the volume of the cone as a function of this. So this, the circular piece of cardboard, after cutting out this sector, can be made into this cone. Now, how is that made? Well, what we would do is you would pull out this center and then you would bring these two lines together so that these two lines are together and that it would give this cone shape. So then this center point here, the center point of the circle, would then be this top, the top of that cone, and then this, the radius 10 centimeters, since this is coming out and it's going down, that would be this side length here, which is of course also this side length, and also this C here, which is this length, it's the circumference without this missing length, that would then become the full circumference of this base circle of the new cone. Okay, so now we want the volume of a cone, and that's V equals that, then we want to find R and H. So now we have to say, well, we have R here, where would H be? Well, the H is just the height, which we know would just be here. But now, now we can see something. If we have these three lines, that would form a right triangle. And for right triangles, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Now, since we already have this side length, which we know is 10 centimeters, if we were to find out either the radius or the height, we would be able to find out the remaining length with the Pythagorean theorem. So now we have to think what would be easier to find, the, the radius or the height? Well, here this radius is closely related to this C, which is the circumference of the base circle. Now, how would we calculate C? Well, let's look over here. Here we have C, which is, again, it's this length, the circumference of the whole circle without this missing length. All right, now, now we want to calculate C. Well, let's again, let's look at this sector which is cut out. And here is angle theta. Now, we can see that if this would grow, if angle theta would get bigger, well, then this missing length would also be longer. So the angle theta is proportional to this missing length. Now, we, we don't have a variable for this missing length, and also we have C, we already have what this a represent, a representation or a variable for this length here without that missing length. So equally, this angle here divided by, well this angle here is proportional to this C length. So equally, this this angle here, which is also like 360 minus this angle theta, that would have the same ratio as the C length divided by the full circumference of the circle. Now let's write this down. Well, first we have to see from the question, it says the volume of the cone as a function of this angle theta in radians. Well, the whole circle or 360 degrees is 2 pi in radians. So it would be 2 pi minus theta, angle theta. Okay, well, let's write this down.
and then this is equal to, well, it's the C length. And now we would have C centimeters, but for the whole circumference of the circle there, it's also centimeters, so that would just cancel out. So we can just have C. Okay, now for the circumference of the circle, well, the circumference is just 2 pi r. So, that means that 2 times the radius is 20, times pi is 20 pi. Okay, and now, again, we want to calculate C. So, we will have C is equal to, and now we have, since that's in the numerator, we have to multiply both sides by 20 pi. And that's multiplied by, well, we have 2 pi over 2 pi is then 1. And then we have minus phi angle theta over 2 pi. Okay, so now we have C. Well, now we can find out the radius of this base circle of this cone. Well, to find out the radius, if we have the circumference, we just divide by 2 pi, because again, circumference is 2 pi the radius. So the radius is equal to the circumference divided by 2 pi. Okay? And this is equal to, well, we have c divided by 2 pi. 20 pi divided by 2 pi is just 10. And then multiplied by this bracket. Okay, so now we have r. And now, again, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate h. Now the Pythagorean theorem is c squared is a squared plus b squared. So here for us, c squared, or the c, the hypotenuse, would be this side length, which we know is 10. So for c squared is a squared plus b squared, it would be a squared plus r squared is equal to 10 squared. Okay, so we want to find, of course, we want to find h, the height, but first we have h squared. So, for h, we would have, well, first we would have h squared, so we would have then bringing, we have 100 here, and then we would have minus the rate, radius squared, is then, well, that's just, this 10 squared is 100. And then times this bracket squared, which is then 1 minus theta over 2 pi. And then in brackets squared. But now we can see that to get just h, we can just do the square root of that. So now we can just have h instead of h squared. We will have the square root. Okay, so now we can simplify this. Well, we have equals to, now we know square root of 100, square root of 100, so we can just take out a factor of 10. So, well, so we have the square root of that is then 10, and then we have multiplied times the square root of, now we have, now we just have one, minus, okay, so this bracket squared is like, this is a minus b in bracket squared, and if you expanded that, that would be a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So we would have 1 squared plus 1 squared, but since we have that minus sign, it would be 1 squared is 1, so minus 1. Then we would have minus 2ab, which is minus 2 times this times this, but since we have this minus sign, minus minus is plus, so then we would have, well, 2 times this, 2 times this theta over 2 pi, 
And then finally, we would have plus this squared, but since we have that minus sign, it would be minus. So that would just be theta squared. So theta squared, and then over, well, 2 pi, it's 4 pi squared. Okay, so this is equal to, well, again, we have 10. Now, 1 minus 1 is obviously 0, and then we have 2, 2, so that will just go to theta over pi. And then we just have minus the same thing. And then we have theta squared. Okay, so now this is fully simplified. So we have R and H. That means that now we can finally find out this volume of the cone. So the volume of the cone, so V is equal to, well, we know it's 1 over 3 pi. Okay, and then that's multiplied by the radius squared. So the radius is 10 times this bracket, so 10 squared is 100. So then we have 1 minus theta over 2 pi in bracket squared. And then that's multiplied by the height, which we have here, which is multiplied by 10, and then the square root of angle theta over pi minus theta squared over 4 pi squared. Okay, so now let's see which one of these options it is. Well, first what we need to see is we have one over three pi, but then here we have factor of 100 and here's 10. So we have 10 times 100 is 1,000, and then we have 1,000 over three, and then multiply by pi. So let's see where we have 1,000 over three. Well, here's 100, 100, here's 1,000, so it could be C, Here's 1,000, it could be D, 100, 100, and here's 1,000, it could be G. But here we can see that we have the radius squared, so this 1 minus theta over 2 pi squared, whereas here it's cubed, but we don't want cubed, so it can't be G. Therefore, it must be either option C or option D. Okay, and then finally for the height, we have 10 times the square root. Well, we don't have 10 because 10 isn't the 1,000, so we just have multiplied by the square root of theta, over pi minus theta squared over 4 pi squared. And for C and D, they both have 1,000 over 3 pi. They both have 1 minus theta over 2 pi in brackets squared. The only difference is for option C, here we have theta over 2 pi, and here it's theta over pi. So option D is correct because we have theta over pi as shown here. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caributests.com.